Hi, what's up? I worked more on the Zebra scripts and throughout some other useful utilities that I hope you will find useful. Uh, so first of all, uh, the part I often find tedious is to split parts from a mesh. I usually mask them out. I use Ctrl W to polygroup them and hide the rest of the mess, mesh and use split hidden, uh, which I have bounded uh, here at the bottom of the screen, but you can also find it in subtool split, split hidden. Mm, and that's how you separate meshes. And that's a, ro a lot of cl clicking. And I don't like that. Uh, so I wrote a small macro, uh, which basically allows me to select a part of the mesh. I can hover over the, the part that I want to detach, the masked part, I press H, which is bounded to split masked under cursor, this macro here. Uh, so I basically press H and that splits this part or it doesn't because it's actually J. Yes, it's J. <laughs> Even if I hover it, it says J. Well, uh, I'm still not used to those hotkeys. I need to rebind them. They aren't that convenient anyway. And that allows me to detach the hand uh, quickly, easily. Uh, let's say, let's do the same for the leg. I press J this time and that detaches the, the leg, uh, which for me is convenient. Uh, what I also would like to have, and I also added that, is to be able to easily merge them back in. So basically having the leg selected, I can hover over the body and press G and that will merge them back in. Uh, so that uses this macro merge subtool under cursor. So once again, I press the hotkey and they get merged together. I select part of it. I press J and that detaches it. G, H, sorry, H merges them back in. Mm. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, two new, uh, new Z scripts. I will post the links to them uh, in the video description so you can download them. Um, I will update them for ZBrush 2019 when I can, when I will be able to test them. For now, they are they probably will fail at uh, while you use it, those in ZBrush 2019, because it uses folders and that changes things with the scripting. So for now, it's best to use those with ZBrush 2018. Yeah, that's it. Thanks.